It's your man's nitty live and direct. Once again, you know the vibes. Big motion. You can't stop the motion. This only happens in Ohio. This one is a raw, uncut, in your face. I'm going to let you do the honors, baby. Who I'm rolling with right now? I go live. I go live right now without it. Uh. I go live right now without a yeah, we live we live without a filter, all that Deja Dog, Big Predator, my little daddy wet, yeah, my mm -hmm. little daddy nineteen. Uh, you looking real good like you said it's, it ain't no filter it ain't no makeup what you see is what you get right now talk about um um politely ratchet though what you mean by that that's your clothing brand ain't it yeah what, what you mean politely ratchet i like that politely ratchet polite as hell ratchet as fuck sweet but sour Good but ghetto, you feel Would me? Would that like, describe Deja Doll? Yes, I am sweet, um, nice, I'm, yeah, but we gon' always, yeah, like, yeah. we gon' yeah when we have to taste shit, so we politely ratchet, plat as hell, sweet as fuck. I go, what, pull a trick right now, then go boo, yeah, afterwards. So, what, what, you, you pulling shit like that in the field? <laughs> so you say you could just walk up and if you see something you want, you pulling that? Dog, I ain't even got to do much. I could just be in line for the hotel, minding my business, and dog going to be like, yeah, you feel me? But it's like that. Do you be taking advantage of that, dog? Be honest. You take advantage of, of that. Of course. You feel me? Why wouldn't I? You got to. Like, what? We ain't, what? We ain't not about to, we got to work smart, not hard. Mm. What? We're not working. What? We work hard, but we gotta, we gotta work smart. Okay, okay. You pulled up solo shot the three three zero ten. Cut. You feel me? Like, like it's big motion going on right now. Like, uh, what made you want to pull up and do the interview for real? I appreciate that too. Let me say that. <laughs> I had to. I had to. It, this only happened in Ohio. You mm -hmm. feel me? It's, it's not Ohio if you don't mention Deja Doll. Like, you want some real? If you, if you don't, yeah. When you mention Youngstown, you go mention Deja Doll. Like. Yeah, like Ohio, like what it means so, being from Youngstown, like for real, that's a gritty place. Mm -hmm. And shout out to the yo, by the way. But what did you take away growing up in Youngstown? Talk about your upbringing. You got a, a you got brother, sister. Like how you come up in the yo? I mean, you feel me? I was born north, raised in the south type. You feel me? So, like my mama, she was a single mom. Like my dad, you know that well, he died when I was a little girl type shit. So. Like, I don't know, I was kind of, like, sheltered. I was, like, in the house type, you feel me? I wasn't, like, out in the streets, you feel me? Like, fighting bitches, and I used to sneak out, try and hang with some niggas, and I always got caught. And my mom used to always beat my ass. My brother, too, he used to. So what made you keep doing it? Because <laughs> obviously you got, lack for better words, turned out to the world. Yeah. Being sheltered, but something happened to where you said, oh, fuck yeah. it, this is where I'm living, and I ain't fucking for free. Let's not forget that. yeah. I'm I'm glad I was I was I lived shelter. I'm glad my mom did shelter me. I'm glad I snuck out and I got them ass whoopings. But when I was 18, type you feel me? I met Shake. I went away for you feel me? I went away for a year. I was with a pimp type shit. So right. you said that was the best yeah, thing that happened it, to you. Yes, <laughs> it was like boot camp. That's, that's wrong. Yes, but but why? Like that's you. So you you were submissive to him. Cause you gotta give yourself to the you you get, you get the game. But what made you do that, and why you feel like that was a good decision for you? First of all, I chose him type shit. Okay. Okay. I was on Instagram one day. I was trolling, and I just came across his page, and it was a guy. He had these girls, and they all had to shake a tattoo, and they were just getting money, and it was pretty, and just that I you feel me? I just turned like I'm 18, fresh out of high school. Like, would you say a little bit naive? Hell or yeah. you knew what you was getting into, cause you said you chose him. Yeah, so. I, in, I inboxed him a picture of my ass at the time, and I'm, cause all his girls had they shake tattoo on their ass okay. or on their back. So I inboxed him a picture of my ass, cute little owl, You feel me? And so you could put it right I'm, here. I'm like, I want a daddy. I need a daddy. And pretty much he, shit, he sent for me. He was like, if you serious, we about to get this bus ticket. Um. Yeah. Let me ask you this, because shout out to Quite Frankly, the podcast. This is not a Quite Frankly episode, so we're not going to go too deep. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to have you on season two. Mark my words, he will. We're going to go deeper into this, but yeah. 
Yeah. Today is Deja Daughter Artist. Let's yeah. get that correct. But um, I want to say, when you called him and you inboxed him, said, I'm looking for a daddy. Shout out to um a female that was on, quite frankly. She said she had daddy issues. Type shit. Yeah. You know, like you said, you lost your dad. Would you say you, you was looking for guidance in a say? Of course. I definitely got daddy issues. I'll be the first to tell you I okay. got daddy issues. Shit, my little... A little daddy, you feel me? A little nigga, little daddy, like <laughs> that already out, fucked up in the head. But like, yeah, but I mean, I'm glad I met Shake though, cause he just like you feel me. I feel like if I would have never met him, I would just been one of them females just stuck in Ohio, stuck in Youngstown, mm. just really not doing much. You feel me? Like me and him. I took a risk. You so know? your talents t have taken you abroad. I took a risk. You gotta take a risk. If you don't take risk, you not gonna ever. You're not going to ever see progress. If you don't try something you never did before, you feel me? How you know if it's going to die? So that's what I did. I just went and, yeah, and I'm, you know, RIP shake type shit, yeah. Okay. But, 